heads up, you're mentioning that you don't feel like it's uh, things aren't breaking apart enough. So are you just talking from a technical point of view, right? Not that he is breaking apart in terms of his emotional state. Just checking. Let's watch this. You don't have any honor, do you? You coward! All right. I think what I would do is, if you want to maximize intensity here and make it feel more organic, that's a thing you mentioned. One that's going to kill anything that's human and especially at this point tense and, um, you know, stressed the way it is. It's anything that's spliny with, with too much of a, of a nice arc overall. So, you don't. Even, even that already is going to kill it for you if you do this smooth sideways and then this here. Like, it's almost as if you want to just start... I don't mind this, like his inner reflection, but then I would make this a bit more, you know, he would go like this, stop a bit, maybe not go as far, right? Go a little bit, hold a bit, go over there, go over there, and uh, even this would be more like one stop, two stops. It's a bit almost almost bird-like in short bursts. It's, it's just a bit more abrupt, but you could also just start from here if you're too concerned. You don't have any honor. Do and then this is what I mentioned before, where if you track his nose, it's it's doing basically this, which is a bit too beautiful. It's too nice. You don't have any honor, do you? And then here too is when you go not too as in nice roundy arcs, but you're going up, and you see how it's it's almost as if you you track his nose here. Any honor, do you? Right. I'm gonna take the sound off. Just look at the nose. It curls, curls, up and down. It's almost like a bouncing ball. Curl, curl, up and down. And that. So there's a lot of stuff where it feels like you're doing that, that, and that. And that, that kind of takes the organic part out of it. Because you don't quite believe his state of mind with arcs like that. So what I would do is bring the audio back a bit. You don't have any honor. So it's more, you don't have any honor. So it's... You don't have any honor. You don't have any honor. You can keep the the right to left. I would just really, really, really minimize your, uh, your ups and downs here. So it's not so much that and that, but it's more that, hold, that. You can almost do something more like that to give it a bit sharp sharpness to it. You don't have any honor, do you? And then, especially through here, so you want to stay down longer. Any honor, do you? Right? And then on honor, it's really on awe. After he says honor, honor, like that's when he sharpens up and goes up. Have any honor, do you? Honor. And then... Any honor, do you? Do you? And even then, you can go stay and stay, stay, stay. Like really minimize your ease into that and overshoot. The honor, do you? And instead of doing one big move, it would be do you? It would be a the nose would go down on do, and then your head would do kind of a sideways twist. Do you? Down on do, and you have a sideways thing. But really, your curves right now feel like they're like that, and you want to get moments where it's almost like this. Right where it goes down, have ever so slight ease in and sharp down again. You want to take those, um, you know, if you have your keys here, you really want to take away those roundy tangents. Any honor, do, do you? And then do you? And I would go like, and when you go like this, you can counter rotate the head a bit so that the nose is around here. So he's already leaning, which is fine, but he's staying kind of put looking at the guy but not too much you don't want to completely counter it but just so it's not so down uh my tool here you go, down and over so it's down hold a bit and then over you careful here that is a weird see how the nose goes straight and then suddenly to the right feels like if you do if you do your arc you know, it's basically like this, and you want to ease into that a bit more, give this a bit more of a curve, because at this point it's 
you're already having such a big move that yeah, at this point probably tilt the head a bit here and uh, rotate it in Y so that the nose is around here-ish. That will kind of soften that sudden turn. You. And that's great. I love still that. That's great. You. That's great. Coward! And then on cow. Coward! I would just do almost a linear key where the nose goes from here to here in a really sharp way. Coward! Like you really want to feel that explosion and it could be that the nose facing is this and you have maybe one frame here and the next would be here. So ease a tiny bit out of it but really pow, like a really big explosion and then keep that. Coward! And the only thing you need to do is watch this cheekbone. Boom, look at that. That's your wall right there where my mouse is. Boom! So you have to take your root. Your root goes screen left visually and then suddenly goes to the right and you really have to ease into that so somewhere you have a linear key so just blind that key to soften that and then you could have at this point the nose a bit like you can have a slight rotation in Y and a slight tilt over to also help with that direction change and then that's it you don't have any honor do you so this is your big offender right this little twirly twirls here and then how smoothly this goes up and down because it doesn't feel like it's tied into the body moves and especially to the audio I think that to me is where the organic part breaks down it just it feels like keys I see splines and I don't I don't feel how that head is motivated by the chest and the words and the energy that comes out of that All right that gets better just that you feel that little abrupt direction change And then your arms here feel a bit too even in timing and they're a bit IK-ish because it is not that much like that wrist would be going up like that fingers. It's my awesome thing here. Right. It's a bit more aligned with the forearm. Just it doesn't feel so IK-ish. <clears throat> and your timing feels like the curve is doing kind of that. As opposed to maybe uh, uh like here you want to be a bit more abrupt and chaotic because it is you know it is tied to the audio go watch this here you so it's you and he goes up a bit and he could go up and then pause a tiny bit and then he goes and it, it's a really exaggerated quick move that kind of anticipates almost this right you coward and not like as in like a huge way but it has a bit of a up and pause a bit faster and then you want to stay in this position because he's really tense now so during all of this this softens that whole intensity so keep that a bit higher and then he goes coward and maybe two frames before or two frames after you can kind of try it then his arms shoot down the way you have it you coward uh-huh all right that is it thank you all right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.